Hi, this is Tammy, Creative Critters at TammySkinner.com. I have a fun project for you today. A lot of my followers know that I am neck deep in graduation stuff this week because my youngest son is actually graduating from high school. So we've been busy working on projects and decorations for his party and we've got family coming in and it's just been so much fun and we've come up with some really fun things to do. One of which is the buttons. So um, buttons are really um, trendy this year and so you'll see I'm kind of uh, addicted to them so you'll see that I've made several already and I've got a lot more planned to make but this one is a graduation button and the button is actually designed for you to wear to the graduation ceremony um, I'm gonna wear mine to his party and to the ceremony and I might even go grocery shopping in it next week so <laughs> I told him I wanted to wear it all over just to celebrate and show everybody that I am the proud mom of a graduate and not only did I make one for me to wear but I made one for my mom who's going to be at these events the grandmother of the graduate and my sister the aunt and his sister and so all the women basically instead of like a corsage to celebrate a special event we're wearing buttons to celebrate and they're a lot more fun and less expensive than a corsage would be so what you need to make this very very simple you'll need pictures I chose to choose, uh, do my pictures in black and white because I really think they stand out better and they don't clash with the colors of the button and I love how the picture turns out in black and white um, and then you'll need cardstock so we've got the cardstock of the school colors. Our school colors are the navy blue, the yellow gold, and white. I chose uh, Bow Bunny's double dot blue, the coordination's white and yellow. And then you're going to need various colors and sizes of ribbon. So we've got, again, we've got all the school colors going. Um, we've got some yellow with the stitching and then some satin yellow. and. And, um, and then we also use some vinyl. The cartridges that you'll use for this particular event or this particular but, uh, project is I did my actual uh, background, the uh, zigzag circle um, out of the happy graduation. That actually is intended for a button type thing, uh, project, so that's why I used it. Um, used the varsity cartridge for my little elm uh, logo which is down at the bottom and all I did was use varsity lettering and overlapped it and welded it with my gypsy and cut that out of vinyl and added the vinyl to my ribbon so I personalized it you could do a lot of different things though you could add um, the graduates name you could put class of 2011 you could do a lot of fun things and so let me show you how to make this because it's super easy and I think you'll really enjoy it Okay, um, I used vinyl and varsity letter to weld the letters L E together to stand for our school, which is Little Elm. And that is going on the navy blue ribbon that is in the middle of our button. There we go. There are several things you can put in the middle. If you want it to, you could put their name, you could put a graduation cap, you could put class of 2011, but my friend Stacy suggested the LE, which represents our school that the kids are graduating from, and I thought it was perfect. So now we'll get everything together and start assembling the ribbons to attach to the buttons. Okay, now to put all the pieces together, we have our rosette. You're going to need two of the round backings. These were cut at five inches each from the Happy Graduation cartridge. And I'm just going to kind of, they, they match, but I'm going to kind of offset them so it gives you that little touch of white behind the one. Then we will put the rosette that has the backing on it. It's already hot glued together on there like that. And then we take a picture and you could do a picture or you could say Happy Graduation or, the, or maybe the um, school or class of 2011 whatever you want to do but we're doing pictures and so you could do the picture on top of that and then you're going to take your ribbons and lay your ribbons out so we have the navy blue one first and then we want it to flank it with the other school colors our school colors are navy blue yellow gold and white and so we're going to take these and we'll kind of lay them out like that and we want our navy blue one to be kind of longer since we put the school name our initials on it and then you're going to attach it 
shoot your button so that it looks like that. There you go. And so how we'll do that is we simply will staple everything together. So we've got the ribbons laid out the way we want them. Okay. You're going to slide your white backing in underneath that. And then you'll take a stapler and holding everything down, just start stapling it all together. There, like that. You can put a couple more in there if you want to make sure it stays secure. But remember, you were just wearing this or displaying it for decoration, so you don't need to worry about too much. So that's the backing. Then we're going to take a small yellow piece of ribbon, and these ribbons can be any length that you want. You can make them longer, you can make them shorter, however you want. I believe ours is about seven inches for the yellow and white, and it looks about eight inches for the blue. Uh, and then you want a little loop ribbon here to go on the back. And this is what you're going to put your corsage pin through to hold to hold the button on so that you can wear it. And we'll staple that one. And that one you want to do maybe two staples crisscross like that because this is where the weight is going to be holding on. This is what you're going to be wearing actually on you. So take that. And once we've got that done, then we're going to take our yellow and crisscross it like that and attach it. And I'm just going to go ahead and staple in the center. And just three places. Alright, so now we've got that done. Then I have my rosette. My rosette will be put on with hot glue because it's stronger. There we go. And I want to put whatever seam shows down. Center that on the hot glue. Press that in. And then the same thing with your picture. Be careful not to put too much hot glue on the picture. You don't want it to um, buckle. So just a little bit going all the way around is good. About like that. And then you simply just take the picture and press it onto the rosette. Now if this was a graduation button for a girl, you could even so much as put some adhesive around the edge of the picture and roll it in glitter, give it that extra oomph, make it a little more girly. You could add more ribbons, you could do some flowers, things like that. But this is a graduation button and we are all going to be wearing them. We've made some for the moms and the grandmoms. Uh, for graduation. They're going to wear them to the graduation party and to the graduation ceremonies. So there you go, graduation button. Okay, so that's how you make the buttons. I told you it was easy. I have some other projects to share with you, so come back tomorrow because you'll see hanging behind me is uh, the banner that we made for the graduation party. It turned out really good. Of course, we took a lot of the ideas that we did with the buttons and we incorporated it and used the same type of materials um, and made a big congratulations banner. And we personalized it at each end with pictures. So um, I can't wait to share that project with you too. It was another easy one. And then we've got some other ones too. Now the parties in a couple days, so I'll take some video and pictures of the parties show you how it all come to get, comes together. Okay, so have a great day and thanks for stopping by.